92.5 The Beat of Salt Lake is Dre Rocca in here with my brethren, Will Wonder, the Will Wonder Show, Figure Four Podcast. Yes, sir. And we have a special guest in the studio. One, my son's in the, in the corner. Yeah, let's not forget about that. <laughs> Allegedly skipping school today. Uh, <laughs> don't put him out there like hey, that. He's okay? sick. He's yeah, sick. Yeah. He's sick. Come on. He's sick. Uh, but we're, we're, we're feeling good. We're feeling great because we have a very special guest in the studio today representing... AEW All Elite Wrestling, the AEW Women's World Champion, Mariah Mays in the building. Yeah. I feel like I need to have that air horn. Yeah, you do. Yeah. We'll add some in I post. More sound effects. All right, Mariah, let's get right up on that mic. I want the people to hear your Hello. voice. There you go. My British accent. <laughs> I was wondering if you put that on or if that was real. No, it's real. Mm. It's all real. Mm. Uh, so what do you think about Salt Lake? Is this your first time in Utah? This is... Is I think I mean you have to understand I'm British mm. I travel a lot for work so sometimes I just go to the airport and they're like where are you going ma'am and I'm like I don't know whatever's <laughs> on the ticket so yeah. I don't think I've been here before but if a fan's on Twitter like yes you have <laughs> then I have and I love it here yeah. it's my favorite <laughs> well place. I'm, I'm glad we get the positive because I know <laughs> sometimes Mariah be feisty and I've heard the way you talk about some cities. But don't talk bad about Chop Lake City. <laughs> Chop Lake City. That's right. What does yeah. that mean? So, you know, Salt Lake City. Yes. But Chop Lake Whoa. City. Dre's taking some you chops. Are you me? I you, know. What you you, you no, want to no, fight? No, no. I don't, I don't want no problems. Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to embarrass you in front of your son. It's a good day <laughs> at school to watch you get emasculated. Uh, yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> yeah. Plus, my wife wouldn't like it either. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have uh, Rampage Dynamite at the Maverick Center tomorrow night, yes. uh, October 23rd. Get your tickets, all elite, all elite wrestling.com. Doors open at 5 30. We'll be in the building. Yes, sir. You know, oh, really excited. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh. One of our good friends is actually, uh, he'll be on the ticket as well, Manny mm -hmm. Lemons. So oh. we're excited about it. Um, you get this, you got this beautiful title in front of you right now. If you haven't seen this title, make sure you check out our YouTube channel because you can see it. It's beautiful. And me, who's <laughs> also beautiful. Um, if I may say so myself. All right, all right. We we get it. We get it. <laughs> um, but in, in pro wrestling, do do belts really matter? Belt reigns yes. as far as holding a I mean, you've been holding this thing for over what, fifty days, sixty days now? Well, I won it at Wembley Stadium in August, so we could all do maths together. I mean Some what, of us. Month, what month are we in now? Uh, it's October. So how many days is that? Go ahead, Wonder. Sixty. Yeah. August, September, October. Yeah. So I, I got a, a degree. Yeah, you do. I'm not really counting because I'm keeping it forever, so it yeah. doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, Anna Jay has something to say about that. <sighs> does Anna Jay have something to say about that? She, she does. Does you... Anna Jay ever have anything interesting to say? <laughs> ever. She's better when she doesn't talk. <laughs> very, very good to look at. Not great to listen to. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so holding this belt... And uh, and having long reigns, do you think reigns really and runs holding a championship really matter, or do you think it's more about moments in pro wrestling now? I mean, I think it's definitely about moments. When I took down my mentor Tony Storm with her own shoe, I think that was a great moment. Shout out to Tony Storm! Yeah. Shout out to Tony no, Storm! I'm, I'm, See how nobody claps, yeah. not even your own kid. <laughs> so, <laughs> I definitely think wrestling is about moments, but I think being a champion is a great honor. And if you look at the women's division, I'm clearly the best. So, mm. I should be the champion. I should be leading the division. I should be doing the radio, doing the media. And that's what it is to be a champion. I mean, Anna has a great face for radio, but <laughs> I think being a champion and, and the reign is very important because that's their legacy. That one digs, bro. Yeah. Don't well, uh, you as well have a great face for radio. And I'm sorry you're my brother, but I'm, I'm kind of on this Did side. you just steal my line, though? No. Nah. if you want to be on my side, you're going to have to... Come up with my own stuff. Maybe. All right. I'll it's, work on it. It's feeling very racial over here. <laughs> 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 no, no. <laughs> yeah, he's not on my side. <laughs> uh, so you 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 signed with AEW November 23. Yes. Already the women's champion. Yes. So that's a very quick rise. For good reason, right? I saw the match with Tony Storm. You, um, that was great. Oh, it was great, you. especially at, at Wembley and your in your hometown. You've wrestled all over the world. Yes. So give me an idea what it's like from the UK to Japan to the US. What's what's some of the differences in maybe the fan bases and the style? Gosh, well, I mean, everything is so different. I've been really fortunate. So obviously, for my accent, I'm from London. Um, so I came up on the British independent scene. I wrestled all over Europe. Lockdown happened, so I didn't do anything for a while, and then I immediately went to Japan. I did not plan on moving there, 
I had like two suitcases and they said I could stay for longer. So I was like, I'm going to move in. I'm like one of those mm. girls that's like just hanging out with a boy and I'm like, I'm moving in. <laughs> <laughs> Take his sweaters and hoodies and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I moved to Japan and that was incredible. The fans are amazing and, and the women are so talented in Japan. And then I got the call from AEW and my dream as a kid was always to come to America. Like I really wanted to live here and move here and I've always been very independent and love to explore and see new things. So in November, I moved to America and I'm already world champion, but it was very nice to win it in Wembley and win it yeah. in my home in front of my mother who I slapped. <laughs> Because no one made me, I made myself. But I mean, there's definitely a lot of differences, but wrestling is, is beautiful and every style and, and country is different. But I think AEW is my favorite mm -hmm. because I'm world champion in such a short amount of time. Yeah. I'm only yeah. 26. Big accomplish accomplishments, for real. Yeah. Um, You talk about coming to the United States. Yes. What was your thoughts of the United States before coming here? Well, it was like my dream because I... I when you're a kid, like you watch Disney Channel and stuff, and every, you're like, oh my God, I want to live in America. It looks so cool. Then you move here. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I, I, I do love America. I think it's just like this every single state is different. I'm lucky enough that I get to travel every week with AEW to so many different places. And sometimes I don't know where I'm going, <laughs> but like you get to see all these different places. Sometimes if we have a pay per view week, we'll stay for the week, we'll kind of take over and see so many different things. But I think the people are really cool. They're so friendly and just, I don't know, I, I, I love my life here. I think it's the right place for me to be. And I'm world champion of AEW, so, you know, yeah, I think I like it here. Hefty belt to be wearing. It's pretty heavy. His Dre Rocka, 92.5 The Beat, Assault Lake, Will Wonder from the Will Wonder Show. And the sure. Figure Four Podcast is in the studio. We also got Mariah May here. AEW World, uh, Women's World Champion in the, in the studio. Make sure you go get your tickets for tomorrow night's show at the Maverick Center, Rampage Dynamite, uh, AllEliteWrestling.com. Now, we do have, you talk about coming from a smaller promotion, right? Local promo promotions. Uh, we have one here called Devotion Championship Wrestling. Oh, cool. And there's a lot of people that come in and out. We have legends that come and help train and, and whatnot. Uh, what advice would you give to a young athlete? Ooh, oh, gosh. One thing I would say is, uh, it sounds corny, like, oh, never give up, but don't fall off track at the first failure or the first no, or if you think you're running out of options, like, I wouldn't have dreamed my career would be the way it would. Like, I never imagined I would win the AEW Women's World Championship at Wembley Stadium when I started wrestling because there was no AEW. You don't know what's going to happen next year or in two years or in three years. So just because you can't immediately see the next door doesn't mean it's not waiting for you. So my advice is just to keep working hard, keep building your brand, keep working to improve yourself as a wrestler because you might get to go to Japan, you might get to go to Europe, you might end up on TV. We have so much amazing wrestling now. So just... Keep your eyes on the prize, even though you might not know what the prize is. Mm. Piggybacking off that, uh, giving advice to younger wrestlers, who kind of helped you when you got into the business? Oh, gosh. Me. Only myself. <laughs> no, I mean, my, my biggest help, honestly, it wasn't so much when I started because I was just kind of navigating that blindly. But when I came to AEW, my biggest help was Tony Storm. She mm. really taught me everything I knew. She helped me navigate backstage. She helped me navigate being a foreigner and then i took everything from her you a devil <laughs> that's yeah, what you are i mean <laughs> i'm the champion though so there's a price to pay to that though for me do you believe in karma um and do you believe you're going to get your karma saturday night against anna J? yes <laughs> listen you had to bite her she got lucky she went to japan she learned a few more things than i thought this time, I'm not going to underestimate her. I'm still going to be champion. Okay. Battle of the Belts, I'll admit, I underestimated her. Just mm. a little bit. Okay. Um, I seen a comment on Instagram. Oh, gosh. I, I, had, I had to look on the Explorer page, and I seen, a, I seen a comment. No, this is a positive one. Okay. The person said, I want to be Mariah May for Halloween. So you officially have become a costume. I made it, Mama. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> what, what does that feel like? What does that mean where you have, uh, you know, individuals that say they want to dress up as you? That's a scary costume. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you have to, th what version of you would you yeah. get, right? Yeah. Um, no, that that is really cool. That's like one of those pinch me things. I remember like a year ago, somebody got like a tattoo of me. And that's like the kind of things I'll like send my mom. Cause like mm. some wrestling things, my parents are just like, cool. But like an action figure or a video game, like people dressing up as you, that's like, oh my gosh, wow. Like, yeah. 
I made it. <laughs> I think that's really dope. Like, it is. Yeah. And yeah. I also want to see what version of me they dress up as. Facts. Um, you talked about Attack 2. Have you had any weird things in the DMs? Have you had weirdos? I mean, to me, a tattoo on, on you is pretty cool, but also a little psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was very cool, but I, my DMs are like a scary place. I don't DM roulette! Pull them out. <laughs> I don't even have my phone oh, on me. I wouldn't... Like, is this a daytime radio show? Like, nah, we can't. No, nah, we can. Yeah. We can't. No, nah, we, we, this, is, this is the unrestricted show. So we do it all. You have to understand, I was on Instagram before they had like the thing where they blur out pictures now from people you don't have. So mm. like I would just be opening my DMs to just... Oh. Goodness <laughs> oh. Good thing I'm a radio host that you doesn't get these kind of DMs. Yeah, I've never gotten one like that either. So. Give it, I think at some point in your life, everyone will get one. I get like 10 a day. Uh, I get a lot of mean messages. How, you do, can... how do you navigate that though? Like I'm being... British. Mm. You can't hurt me. He just can't. <laughs> I'm trying to think the last time I heard a British accent on radio. I think it was Craig David. Oh. Yeah. A little throwback. You're yeah. too young. You don't. I know who Craig David is. No, you don't. Yeah, Name a song. Feel me. Dang. Why'd you do Almost that? <laughs> I'm not, that's a wild part to, cut it, to stop saying it, too. Let's not. My bad. <laughs> um, but but uh, being a, a young woman, a champion, you're representing a huge company. You know, you're, you're doing the press. You're. You're influential to so many kids and, and young adults. Like, you obviously get some negative yeah. things on, on social media. You know, uh, how, how do you manage your mental health through this whole challenge or this whole career? I mean, I've had it even though I was only on the independent scene like three years ago. So I didn't have such a vast following and so much pressure. I've always had horrible comments about like my parents or I'm not good enough or a whole just a lot of things like a lot of different wild things and some of them are so stupid that you they don't mean anything whereas some of them you're like oh, wow but I think it's just like important to have people around you in your life who keep you grounded because I don't agree with people who are just like oh there's no such like they don't take any criticism so I make sure I have people in my life who will critique my performances or critique if, if I do something wrong or I make a bad move they'll say you know this wasn't good or this wasn't good but I also just make sure to surround myself with real people mm. I don't it's sad because I have such a good relationship with my fans and I always tweet them. I used to do Twitch streams and talk to them a lot, but now I, I tend not to read my comments so much just because I guess now I'm on TV, it's just so much. Like I don't know what's happened to us as a society where we just go online and just insult people, but we do. Mm -hmm. So I just don't read it. And that's not to say I don't you know acknowledge criticism. I certainly do, but I don't read or even listen to trolls because it's, you know, a personal thing for them, I think. Yeah, they don't even matter. Yeah, know? so I think if you are pursuing something, it's important to just understand that social media is a great branding tool, but to put it down and not to let that infiltrate your real life. Hmm. You've always been a wrestling fan. Yes. And so when you were younger growing up, who would you have DM? Who were your favorites <laughs> in wrestling? Jeff Hardy. <laughs> oh. That's funny. We were just talking about We the were Hardy just boys. talking about the Hardy boys. Yeah. Oh, you got a, You Jeff were in the Hardy. same company. Yes, that's and amazing. He's great, but when I was a kid, I had a big crush on Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Was it the chest hair? It it was the multicolored rainbow hair, and he had the arm sleeves, and, and the, he danced with the, yeah, with the, the hips. Little jig on. <laughs> <laughs> My son does it. Hey, get up, do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 People want to be you, but what are you going to be? Could you guess? It's <laughs> Is it the devil? <laughs> well, I wouldn't need a costume. That mm. wouldn't be fun. Uh, let's see. Mm. <laughs> you better not be mean and be Tony. I spent my entire AEW career dressing up as that top. <laughs> I'm not doing it for Halloween. It's my time. Okay, I'm trying to think back to Jeff Hardy times. If, if we're in pro wrestling. It's not a pro wrestling. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it's vampire. very. No. No. Should I tell you? Yeah. yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Oh, okay. That's perfect. <laughs> why, why Buzz Lightyear? I don't know. I saw the costume. Thought it would be fun. <laughs> who's <laughs> who's going to be my, Woody? Uh, we've got a little, little group of us. Nice. We've got Woody, Jesse, Bo Peep. I'm trying to get one of my friends to be, you know, the ones that are like, the claw. Yeah. Because the costume is disgusting. <laughs> like, <laughs> and all of ours are like cute versions of it. And that one is just gross. And I'm like, you've got to be there. <laughs> you got to do it. It's Dre Rocker, 92.5 The Beat of Salt Lake. Got my man 
DJ Will Wonder from the Will Wonder Show uh, and Figure Four podcast as well in the studio. Mariah May, AEW Women's World Champion, is in the studio. Make sure you go get your tickets, though. We're going to be at the Maverick Center. We want you to join us. Watch some pro wrestling. Great athletes. Um, we've been talking a lot to you this morning or this afternoon uh, when this is Aaron. Uh, what's the biggest challenge for you professionally right now? For me, because I am a hater, my biggest challenge right now is finding someone to hate as much as I hate Tony Storm. Mm -hmm. Hating Tony Storm, loving Tony Storm, being Tony Storm, destroying Tony Storm gave me so much purpose. Every day I went to work and I had things to do. You know, I had to butter up Tony Storm. I had to deal with her butler. Then I got to take down Tony Storm and torture and torment Tony Storm. But now I've ended Tony Storm's career. I stand on top of the AW Women's Division. I'm looking for competition. I'm looking not just for a formidable challenger. I'm looking for somebody that I can come to work and think about how much I hate you, how much I want to hurt you and destroy you. So if there's any woman in the AW locker room who would like to, you know, give me some professional direction and purpose, I am waiting. Mm. I can only think of one that I, I don't want to say would challenge you, but that I would like to see, and I don't know when this will happen, but what about Mercedes? Hey, she knows where I am. I have another belt too, so if she wants to parade around with her two belts, I can get my own belt because she wasn't even in that. I won that tournament. I can walk around with two belts. I'd love to hate you, Mercedes. I'd love to love you. Mercedes will take you out. Really? And Storm is going to come back. Anything else? Any other comments? <laughs> <laughs> it is, you, this promo is really good. Keep going. Uh, you no, are killing it. No, I'll leave it right there. You know okay, why? Okay, good one. Because you hold the belt, and I should respect yes. you a little bit more. Yeah, you, a lot more. A lot more. You you won the Owen Hart Invitational Tournament, or Owen Hart Foundation, excuse mm -hmm. me, Invitational Tournament. Were you, were you a big Owen Hart fan growing up, or was that kind of after, or pr was, prior to you? He was, a, he was a little bit before I started watching, yeah. but obviously being, I was a you wouldn't believe this because I'm good looking, but I was a bit of a nerd. Like, I loved wrestling, so I would go back and watch it all. And also, going into the tournament, I really wanted to honor Owen. So, yeah. I did the missile drop kick and the victory roll just to kind of pay tribute to him. And also, I already did the missile drop kick, so I just thought it was nice. Yeah. Mm. I love that. And I love pink, too. Oh, no doubt. Our yeah. foundation. I, yeah. I, I, I forgot my pink shirt. I was going to wear my flamingo shirt. You know the one? <sighs> yeah. Blew it. It was a little too cold out. <laughs> it was. Yeah, what's the weather in Salt Lake City? Because, like, it was really cold, and Depend then I put a blazer on, and I came out, and I'm just, like, burning in the yeah. sun. We get all uh, all three seasons at this time of year. I should have said all four, so but what, we don't get one. How do I dress? What can I expect? You dress the way you're comfortable, which is... This is helpful. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have been incredibly no, helpful. No, no. You should literally, if you're if you're a common person here in Salt Lake City... I'm not a have, common person. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we've already well, you, made a mistake. You just dress like this, and the way Gangrel was looking, you're fine. Just maybe a hoodie. Did you notice Gangrel in the parking lot? <laughs> oh, we talked about it. Yes, the parking lot attendant bears resemblance to Gangrel, who I actually used to be on shows with. I used to do the holiday camps with him. Oh, no. Oh. Back in my independent days. Yeah. Holiday I, holiday camp, so that's around a specific holiday, or what, what does so that mean? So it's like, I don't know how to explain it to Americans. It's like uh, school vacations. You guys, oh, okay. like, when your kids are on like vacation. Fall break. Yeah, and yeah. you can go to, like, it's, like, a really good price, like, little holiday thing. It will have, like, you take your kids there and, like, a uh, we call them a caravan. Like, a, a those vans you can stay in. Oh, camp oh like a camper. Like a camper. Like a camper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, you can go and rent those or, like, little, like, tiny houses things. And, like, you go and there's, like, kids entertainment, like, magicians. And then there's, no like, way. arcades. And then we'll put on, like, a wrestling show and then drive to the next, like, seaside town. Like, they're all by the sea and, like... Do these like wrestling shows? Do you guys document this? I used to vlog it on my YouTube, so I've got some of it. Yeah, but no, it's it's not it's not recorded. It's just like all these yeah these shows. Are you not vlogging no more? I vlog a little bit, but I'm such a busy woman. You know, I have to come and do things such as this. So I I well, don't. Sounds like you need a an intern. I do. I need a. Yeah, no. Your son. He'll be nice. doing that right there. He's already, yeah, he's already he, out of school, so he, he wants to follow me around <laughs> and film for me and edit it. <laughs> um, hey, son, you actually you had a question you wanted to come ask, right? Come over here. Come here. Oh, you took the hat oh, off. Oh, <laughs> there you go, Tay. Make sure he's talking to the mic, all right? Say it with your chest. Yeah. So, Mariah and May, I have a question for you. Okay. How much pain do you go through in an AD, AEW match? 
winning this title, I went through quite a lot of pain. <laughs> As you probably saw, I was bleeding. Tony Storm yeah. pile driving me on the steel stairs. Um, it really depends who I'm wrestling and what I'm up against, but it's, it's definitely very tough. Yes. Oh, okay. It's a great question. Good question, yeah. son. Back See, to the corner. You got a future in this. Ask good questions. <laughs> <laughs> who taught him? Not you. <laughs> me. The wife. <laughs> Not <laughs> you. <laughs> very true. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. But uh, who, who, who are some uh, uh, matches that you haven't had that you do want to get? Ooh. I mean, I've defeated a lot of those women, but Mercedes is definitely one. I think that's a big matchup. Um, I haven't wrestled Chris Statlander. So I think that would be a great match. So anyone I haven't beaten yet, I'd like to add to that list. And like I said, I'm looking for my next great rival. I'm looking for a girl to come into their own and show themselves against me. So if there's the next big star in that locker room, I'm the woman to try. Come on, I'm waiting. I went to uh, AEW show right before the pandemic went wild here. And it was a, it was so much fun. I haven't been since. So for people who haven't been to an AEW show live, watch it on TV, uh, but haven't been live, give them an idea of what they can expect tomorrow night. So tomorrow night at the Maverick Center, we have a ladder's war, which is going to be <laughs> just crazy. It's going to be so much fun. We have women's wrestling. We have a great women's division, obviously, which I sit on top of. Uh, we have a lot of great different stuff. I think it's cool because we deliver a little bit of everything so if you're looking for something for your kids, it's a really affordable night out. Like tickets are 21 bucks. So if you're looking for some family fun, AW is definitely the place to go. And we got a lot of different stuff. But I'm particularly looking forward to the Ladders War just because mm -hmm. I love a little a match that's got some tricks in it. You know, so. especially Jericho. Yeah, Chris yeah, Jericho's in it. Legend. Living and it's legend. a title match. So mm -hmm. maybe we can get Green Girl to come back. <laughs> Green to Girl's gonna return from the parking lot. <laughs> he's looking up at me. I'm done saying his name. Yeah. yeah, he's like the uh, what's his name? Candyman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> say Candyman. Gangro, Gangro, Gangro. Oh no! Are you are you a movie goer? Do you like movies? I like some movies. What's your guilty pleasure? Four Brothers. Mm. Oh, you seen that? One of my favorites. But well, I, I want to say. I always turn it off at a certain part, but I would be spoiling it if you haven't seen it. Mm. Listen, if they haven't seen it. At yeah, this it came point. out a long time yeah. ago. One, the Is brother... it when the brother dies? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I can't watch. We forget the guy's name, but that oh, brother. He's, he's really good looking. Jack. Too. That was his oh. name in the movie, Jack. I was going to say, I didn't know. When he dies, it's, just, it's tough. It's tough. My favorite line. You've heard this before. Yeah, I've heard it too many times. <laughs> That was no execution. Oh, no. That was no murder. That was an execution. They set mom up. They set her up. <laughs> yeah, Favorite Mark line. Wahlberg. You think he has a future in acting? If Mark Wahlberg retires, you might. <clears throat> like, a spot might open up for you. Maybe. I might just come and get your title. You want to try? <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow. Why not? No, I don't want those problems. Have you seen those <laughs> where, like, that? By the way, audience, do not jump across that barricade. Stay in the seats. Mm -hmm. But have you seen those when the people, like, go rogue? I and then get their butt beat by yeah. the athletes. Yeah, yeah. It's not only the wrestlers in the ring, but like we got some beefy security too. No it's like I just wouldn't want those problems either. No. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Uh, is there a match that you would want to do? Maybe a match. We talked about the ladder match, right? Is there a specific match that you haven't done that you would love to do, or one that you would like to create? Look, I got a beautiful face, so all these weapons and stuff. It's not particularly my thing since I don't want to damage the glamour. But I mean, look if. Tony Storm ever resurrected I don't know where she even is and tried to touch me again I would love to have a match which means I could hurt her as much as possible or I would love to create some kind of glamour match I don't know what that looks like when I was on the independent scene I had a Barbie dream house death match which was just like wow. a it was a weapons match and everything had to be pink mm. or like you and then I got disqualified because I used a red brick but it's not pink it's mm. it, if you are colorblind, it is so, <laughs> <laughs> but that was a lot of fun. So, I'd love to take you know, kind of that side of wrestling, which is all like the weapons, and just make it pink, <laughs> just I like, it. Yeah. make it Barbie. Mm. But yeah, we talked about how f quickly you've risen up in AEW. What's your plan for next year? Like, what are some of your goals in 2025? Well, I'm still going to be the Women's World Champion. And like I said, I'm, I'm all about moments and kind of looking for that next big rival and creating a star just to kill a star. So that's really my focus for 
next year and I, I haven't ever challenged for the TBS championship. I haven't ever stepped in the ring with Mercedes or she's never really stepped to me, I guess. So that's something I'm looking at too. Mm. Get your tickets again tomorrow at the Maverick Center. Uh, Dynamite Rampage. Mariah Mayer, you're going you're gonna to be in the building, right? Of course, I'm the world champion. Okay, okay, just making sure. I didn't fly to Salt Lake City for nothing. Chop Lake City, all right? Oh, there's nothing to do in Chop Lake City. <laughs> you should come to the Maverick Center so you have something to do. Well, I heard um, London has horrible food, so. Oh, yeah, well, I moved. So, Salt <laughs> London. I literally moved from that country twice. Mm. Twice in a row, so insult it. Go ahead. Uh, okay, so I do this thing called rapid questions. I got about five questions here. It said this or that. Oh, gosh. Okay. okay. <gasps> tacos or pizza? Tacos. Or I say tacos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> podcast or music? Music. Gosh. You don't like podcasts? No. Who does? But you do. <laughs> it's just like two two guys with a mic and no one asks for it. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine that. You know I mean? mm, okay. <laughs> Cross off all the podcast tour. Uh, sneakers or heels? Sneakers. What's your go-to? I have a real nice pair of Jordans. They were like limited edition. They're like the rose gold ones with the hoops. They're they're nice. What what uh what what Jordan are they? They're like high tops. I don't know. Oh, we need to get your Jordan game up. I don't one, have a Jordan three, game. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. Three. Oh. Four. Jordan threes are all right. I love threes. Are they yeah. the ones that are like they come up just above your ankle? You're probably talking about the Jordan ones. Maybe Jordan ones one. are the only dope high tops other than the elevens. They're nice. Like yeah. I don't know which ones they are, but they're like I hardly wear them because I don't want to crease them. Okay. <laughs> like the glamour, I would wear heels, but day to day I'd obviously wear sneakers because I don't want to break my ankle. And not wrestle. When do you when do you get your sneaker deal? <laughs> when I learn the numbers of the Jordans, then I think I'll get my okay. Jordans deal. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need like some when night. I commit more and like become a proper sneakerhead, I just go to the store and I'm like, that one's pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to get your like. They, your so I once got these pair of like I don't know, like the hype sneakers, and I got signed up for this thing. So whenever they drop, I have mm. like for some reason because I signed up so early, I have exclusive access. And I just get pulled in every time. So I have really nice sneakers that are like, they get like sold on StockX for like 400 bucks. And I don't know what they are. What's your closet look like? Sneakers. <laughs> sneakers full. Huh? That closet's full. And I don't know what they are. And I'm like, should I just sell them? But I, I bought them because I like them. Oh, you're a hoarder. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big time. Summer or fall? Summer. Mm. Summer. Okay. Did you do anything to, obviously you've been working, but did you go on any vacation? When was your last vacation? I don't have a vacation. I'm the world champion. Mm. But my life is one big vacation. It's easy being me. Glam. Yes. All right, last one here for you. Here we go. And I don't know if you have any more questions, Wonder. Last one for me. Anna J or Tony Storm? In what regard? Like, what are we saying? To do what? What am I doing with, like, what? We'll say match. The la- the one obviously you got Anna J coming up this Saturday, so you're already gonna get your hands on her. I think Anna J because last time we wrestled, she beat me. So say that again. What was that? What'd you say? I know she, you're not death. She beat you. Yeah. Okay. I'm not afraid to say it. She did. She beat me. She got lucky. She had this impressive new little maneuver she learned in Japan, I guess, because she went for a month. I went for a year. So. I'd love to wrestle Anna Jay again and show her what a year is versus a month of training. Well, some people might say Anna Jay's more focused than you. Anna, is Jay, she? Anna Jay's in the in the gym. She ain't doing radio. I went to the gym this morning. All right. Yeah. I'll give you that one. I'm you gonna need try to, to stop trying like the promo game. It's not for you. <laughs> I'm gonna try to break the know. tension real quick. Your podcast. Stick to that. And uh, go back to <laughs> when you used to when you watched re- wrestling as a child. Mickey James or Lita? Mickey James. Like, I love Lita, but Mickey James was more my time. Okay. And, I mean, I'm a big fan of how she, you know, made her debut in wrestling and how she became champion. Took a little inspiration from that myself. So. I wonder if they still do posters in lockers. Because I had Lita in my locker. Oh, I'm sure they do. Yeah. In schools, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Back in, like, the 70s when you were at school. Okay, because you're a child. I'm not a child. You are definitely a child. I'm 26. You know how they look? They look up 
I was on uh, social media, and they're like, oh, Steve from Blue's Clues wrote a message to us. This was my childhood. That was her. Oh, Steve, Blue's Clues. <laughs> Why is Steve nah. catching strays? <laughs> what Steve? does Steve do? I think Steve's, Steve's living a, a comfortable life. He's a successful businessman. He's more over than you. We had the A. <laughs> he's, way more, he's more successful than you. We had just... the A team. We had real, we had yeah, go, real, real know, people. Someone cares about what you're saying. I'm sure somewhere someone is like, in, yeah. tell us. Did you guys have Sesame Street in London? All right. I have a phobia of puppets. <laughs> Bring in the puppeteer. So, like, I prefer we don't even talk about Sesame Street. I have, like, a really bad phobia of puppets. Oh, it sounds like we need to have a puppet match. Yeah. The puppet match, AEW, Booker? No, match. that will be my first vacation. <laughs> <laughs> we found your crib tonight. I don't know if it's all overcome my fear in the ring. It's funny because uh, they made a Tony Storm puppet. Oh, no. And it just kept, I guess, it, like, AEW was posting it and it kept coming up on my feed and it was just the worst thing in the world I could ever see. The woman of my nightmares and puppets. <laughs> Speaking of Tony Storm, do you still have that high heel that you busted her yeah, on? Yeah, it's in my apartment. It's, like, on my living room thing that's just, like, my Owen Hart belt, which I won and Mercedes hasn't, and the bloody shoe, which has her real blood on it. Probably like dangerous. I don't know. I should put it in like a bo- box yeah. or something. You're gonna get some really weird DMs after this airs, and they're gonna be like, "Can I get that shoe? It has her <laughs> blood on it? How much?" Name a price. <laughs> <laughs> I can be bought. <laughs> you know, when you're talking about Halloween costumes, I thought you were gonna say Dracula because you like to drink mm-hmm. blood. Mm-hmm. I don't drink blood. I seen you lick it. I didn't lick it. I rubbed my face in it. I gave her a nice, nurturing little. You know, like animals do. She always did it to me. I just thought I'd give her a little rub. I'm not eat, drinking her blood. Ew. It's Tony Storm. You don't know where she's been. I think the world's seen you drink her blood. I don't think I drank it. That was Hangman and Swerve. I just rubbed in it. It's okay. You were living in the moment. You know, we all get carried away when we're, <laughs> we're in that place. So it's fine. Mariah May, <laughs> AEW Women's World Champion at the Maverick Center tomorrow night. Make sure you go get your tickets, alleliterestling.com, the Maverick Center. Make sure you be there. We're going to be there. My family's going to no be doubt. there. Gonna That's be there. not a selling point. You being there is going to detract. I will be there. The amazing AEW roster will be there. Like I said, we have a ladders match. We have women's wrestling. The boys are doing what the boys do. But I'm going to be there in all my glory and Anna J, I guess. With her busted sneakers that she don't even know what they are. They are. Don't need to know. All I know is they look good on me. And Jordan, sponsor me. If I could get some kind of sneaker sponsorship before you, I think that would be. You know who should really get the sponsorship? Anna J with the Jordan, the Jumpman logo. That would be dope. Why? You could probably do like Just, sketches. Have you ever seen Anna J jump? And not too much heat on Yeah, sketches. on you. She never As she jumped. kicked your ass. She didn't. She got lucky. <laughs> she got, Just wind me up. Just keep winding me up. It's fine. Anna J will pay the price. I'll let you live. Where can the people follow you and send you creepy DMs? <laughs> <laughs> Mariah May X on pretty much every social media platform. So if you're not already following me, go ahead and DM me. Surprise me. See if you can say something to me I haven't heard before. Yeah. It's wonder. a wide net out there. Jeez. <laughs> Where can we Everyone's follow you, Wonder? Like, uh, yeah. The Will Wonder Show on Instagram. DJ Will Wonder on Twitter. Or X, excuse me. I still can't. Oh, yes, I, still, I still can't call it X. Mm-mm. It's nah. Twitter. Yeah. Thank Even you. I was around when it was Twitter. Oh, it's so it's so yeah. depressing though. Like you yeah. go on there, it's like beheadings and XXX. Well, that's, not my, that's, not my feed. And that's not really my. Feed. Is it just my? Feed? I think yeah, I think that your algorithm is a little weird, you bro. Enjoy. Oh. You talk about her you drinking really blood. Just, I think you're. You interesting. just exposed yourself yeah. heavy. No, it's all sunshine, roses. Can we edit and that in post? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, 92.5thebeat.com Dre Rocka on Instagram D-R-E-R-A-W-K-A We'll see you tomorrow All Elite Wrestling at the Maverick Center